welcome to AI Home Lab. Now that we all had time to reflect a bit, we thought we would actually test a great model. So we tested DeepSeek version 2.5, that's a 236 billion parameter model in Q4KM, which is a great model. Now let's go straight into the test. The first test we did is to ask it how to melt a 30 by 30 by 30 centimeters cube out of ice. It could either use a spoon, it could use 0.2 liters of tea, or it could use a hydraulic press. Now it took the right item, it took the hydraulic press, and it takes advantage of the special um, properties which ice has, which you can um, feel if you go ice skating, because ice melts under pressure. And it did this right, so that's perfect, because I didn't see like a lot of models that get this one right. So let's go on to the next one. For the next one we have a bucket that is rotating around the center and it has two small holes, one pointed towards the center and one outwards. Now the stream going towards the center will actually overtake the bucket because the angular, or no, the path, the circular path will get um, smaller once it goes into the direction of the center. So it will overtake the bucket because of conservation of momentum. So it has the same speed, but needs to take like less of a distance. That's why it seems to overtake or it does overtake the bucket, which unfortunately this model didn't get right. Now for the third question, we have a hunter that hunts a monkey. And by the time it, he shoots, the monkey lets himself go. And we don't correct like the rifle for like the gravi gravity. And this is why the monkey still will get hit, because both the monkey and the bullet are um, objects of gravity. So they will both fall at the same pace, even though like the bullet flies quite fast. And it got that right, so it did understand that both the bullet and the monkey are falling. And so, unfortunately, our poor monkey will get hit. Um, yeah, but it got this right, so that's nice. Um, now, if you have like a question for those um, examples that we do, we had one clip where we explain all these questions in detail. So if you're unsure or don't understand it, watch it here. Um, but now let's go to the next one. Next one is a knight's and knave's riddle. Knights to always tell the truth and knaves to always lie. Now you meet um, Kayla and Timia. And Kayla says, my sister, um, Timia and I, we're both knaves. Now this is not possible. So the only way that this will work is if Kayla actually lies and Timia is a knight. Um, it got his right. So that's perfect. It did the logic riddle perfectly fine. Um, if you want to figure it out for yourself, just make a small table and write down all the possible states and see which one work and which one don't. Now for the next one, we have um, a small number classifier where the, the model basically needs to figure out if a number is either like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or if it's a decimal number, or if it's a number that doesn't repeat itself something like pi. Um, unfortunately, it didn't get this one right. Um, but this one is actually one that none of the models got right. Um, for the next question, it needed to create a Pong game. Um, and it needed to create it with an AI opponent. So basically just an opponent that moves by itself. Um, if it would actually implement an AI algorithm that would be awesome or an ML algorithm. I didn't see one model that does this, so whatever. But the problem here, or the reason why I didn't award it one point, but only 0 0.75 is because in the dual player, um, only one of both can move at the same time. Um, now I did try to get it to correct itself, but it basically didn't manage to do so, um, or not in like two shot. 
Now for the next one, we asked if um, either 5.9 or 5.11 is bigger. Um, it got this right. Sometimes it messes it up because of software versions, but this one got it right. Now for the next puzzle, mm, this is a fork road puzzle. It needed to figure out a way to um, ask a, a guard in front of that fork road one question. And this one question needs to be enough to um, find out which way to take. One way leads to death and the other one leads to, well, not death. Um, and there are two persons there. One is, two persons, sorry. There, um, one is a knight and one is a knave, but you don't know which one is which. So you need to ask one question. And the best way normally is to ask, if I would ask the other guard, guard um, which, or if that path, leads to death, what would he say? Now, this is because we take, um, like we need a statement that uses both properties of both those people. And that is actually one he did, or this model did perfectly fine. Uh, the question this model takes is, if I were to ask the other guard, whether this path leads to my destination, would they say yes? Now, the model also explains, explains both cases. So if it's like the wrong path, and we take, for example, the knight, um, the knight would say, or the knight would think about the knave, and the knave would say about the right path that it's the wrong path. So the truth teller would say no, because like the other one would say no, so he will also say no. And if you would ask the knave, he would lie about what the knight would say, so he would also say no. Um, so this helps us considering the right one. And this model got it perfectly right. Um, now for the next question, we ask um, about a collision where two Fiat 500s collide frontwards um, with the same pace and they have the same weight. So. Basically, the model needs to find out that this is the same as if you would collide with the same speed into a wall. And um, this is because like the wall needs to um, push with the same amount against your car as you were coming. So there is no difference in racing against another car with the same weight and the same speed. Um, then it it's no different than if you were just like crashing into a wall. And it did that correctly. Um, now, just like one small thing to note, I redid it afterwards and it did it wrongly. So your mileage may vary, but still that was quite good. And I awarded it full points because it did it on the first run. Um, now for the last one, it needed to implement a NIM game, a NIM game. Um, now, if you play the NIM game, you have uh, matches that are laying on a table in rows. In the first row, you have one match. In the second row, you have three. In the third, you have five, seven, and so on. You can play with how many you want. And each player may take as many matches out of one row as he or she wishes but you may only take from one row and the one player that wins will be the one who can always pull a match and the one who can't pull out a match will lose um, now the model needed to implement an ai algorithm or a machine learning algorithm that beats the opponent so beats the player um, now the model said it used a min-max algorithm, but I don't think it did that correctly because it sometimes beats me, but not always. And if he would, or if the model would implement a min-max algorithm correctly, it would always beat me. Um, but it did kind of solve it. 
Um, first, I had the problem that I had no button to enter my inputs. And so there was basically no way to tell it what I wanted. And then it implemented it on the second shot. So it made it in two shots. And there were some minor corrections, which I still had to do. So like free shot problem solving. And the reason why I did let it like correct itself is because it had a solution which mostly worked. It just forgot about one little thing and there were like minor issues, but it's not perfect. Um, but all in all, this model achieved 70% of all my questions. So like with the Nim game, I gave it 0 0.25 points. And with the Pong game, I gave it 0 0.75 points. So I didn't award it full points there because it didn't do the task perfectly. But still, it got 70%. So for comparison, GPT-40, that was three weeks ago, I have to mention, because right now it seems to be a little bit better, um, only got 60%. And Claude got... 80%. And all the other open source models that I tested, that would be Yama 70B, the 3.1 version in Q8, Wizard LM 8 times 22B in um, Q4. I also tested Chema 27B version 2. And I tested, uh, tested Mr. Large. All of these, or none of these, got over 53% right. So that was the best model from all of these. So I didn't test Yama 405B because it's like intense or quite heavy on VRAM. And for the moment, I don't have an equipment for that. I run six GPUs with 24 gigs of VRAM, five P40s and one um, RTX 3090. Just by the way, you can run these together with no problem. You just first need to install the um, the driver for um, the workstation GPUs. So um, these are called the Tesla drivers. And afterwards, you need to install the studio driver for the RTX 3090. And this will work fine. Just like if you combine it the way I did, uh, you will probably not have a big advantage of your RTX 3090 besides for um, CNNs, for which it will still be awesome, of course. And if you upgrade later to other GPUs, you will get much faster um, inference speeds. So yeah, um, but besides of that, I really can recommend DeepSeek version 2.5. I mean, I just ran it in Q4 and it's amazing. I mean, it's not always perfect, but if you explain what you want, I mean, even the ones that didn't quite make it single shot, I could pitch it towards the direction I wanted it and it understood. So that was kind of nice. And I think like for now, at least in the space of until 250 billion parameters, this is probably the king of all of these. So really nice model. Um, yeah, that was it. So if you liked that video, please click on the like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already. And uh, we had a lot of awesome projects coming for you. And yeah, if you have any suggestions or questions or whatever, just write a comment. We are happy to answer. Have a nice one. Bye. There's something new